Hey artists, just want to talk to you for a few minutes about your holoform clay choice project that we're starting today. Today you're going to be doing the planning stages and by the end of class today you should have two very detailed drawings or ideas of what you're going to do for next week. When you come into class next week you should know exactly what you're going to do. If you have to make changes that's okay as you go along that's fine. But next week, you're going to have one week and one week only to do these. We cannot save your clay till the following week. So you have to know what you're going to do and be ready to come in and get to work. We're going to be starting off next week with a double pinch pot technique just to give you a heads up. If you've been with me in years past, you most likely know what a pinch pot is. If you do not, don't worry about it. We'll be going over that and it's a very easy concept. The hollow form, remember, is going to have a hollow or an empty space inside. We're going to be using also um, paper towels to help us kind of hold our structure out. Now, after you form your double pinch pot hollow form, you will be able to transform these into basically whatever you want. I just want to go over a couple of ideas, some inspirations. Obviously, you don't want to copy any of these ideas exactly, and I know you won't. But these are some great inspirations, and you can see um, the, some of the, the textures and the colors and the, and the um, personalities on each of these as well. Don't forget to plan for an air opening. It could be big and obvious, as you can see the fish on the left has a huge mouth. I also love those little scales going on there. And you can see the shark on the right is more of a piggy bank, and you can see the little coin slot on top is pretty obvious. The air hole might be a little smaller and hidden, but make sure it needs to be there or your project will go boom and blow up in the kiln. So these are a couple of ideas of some hollow form clay projects where you can't really see the air hole, but they are definitely there. Thinking outside of the box. This is a choice project, so this is very, very open, guys. Be as creative as you want. Be as wacky as you want. I like how the ones on the left, it's kind of like this. the artists on, that created the ones on the left, the little monsters on the left, they didn't really blend those two pinch pots together fully. They just kind of let them overlap. And they still made sure that they attached, but that's a pretty cool idea. A couple more little ideas for you. I like how the one on the right looks like it has a lid that's kind of cut out. A little figure on top, and obviously that painting is pretty awesome too. A couple more ideas. Hollow forms, but obviously that air hole has got to be there, but it is a little bit more hidden from us. Same thing on these guys as well. Notice on the left the texture in those owls. That little metal needling tool is going to be amazing to get that kind of texture. You might decide to keep the form of your artwork or your choice project very, very simple and then get very, very detailed with the surface design and the surface texture. A couple more cool ideas. A couple more cool ideas still. I like how the structure of these is very simple. The artist here obviously just decided to create a, a vase or a container, but just to have fun with the surface and decorating the surface. That is a great idea. If you're coming up blank on some ideas, you could always do something like this, or you might choose to do something like this as your favorite idea anyways. But again, very, very nice use of texture, of pattern, of color. I can't wait to see what you're going to do guys with these, and uh, you will have your planning sheet in front of you. And again, two very thorough ideas by the end of class today so that you are ready to go next time. Thanks.